Number 58. Which of the following atoms contains only three valence electrons, L, I, B, N, F, or N, E? Okay. So remember what valence electrons are. Valence electrons are the outermost electrons that are found in um, the last shell for a specific atom or element. And remember, the shell is the N number. So it's the, lo- it's the last shell, those electrons, those are called valence. So for example, if you had a certain atom with the nucleus, right? And let's just say that this element had two shells, right? So they had the N equals one right here. And then they had the N equals two shell. The valence electrons would be the, the ones that are found in the last shell possible for the certain atom. So in this case, I drew four different valence electrons. One, two, three, and four. So the valence electrons are the electrons found in the last shell of a possible atom. Now, there's an easy peasy method to remember how many valence electrons do elements have. And it goes by the group number. Now, this only works for main group elements. Your main group elements are group 1, 2, and then 13 all the way to 18. So these transition metals in here from 3 to 12, these do not um, follow the valence electron trick. So in order to find out how many valence electrons, how many electrons are in the outermost shell for the main group elements, it just equals the group number. That's it. Now, I want to be more specific. There are some periodic tables that have um, sections into A and B. So you might see, if you don't have this periodic table in front of you, on your periodic table, you might see this one as being 1A, 2A, and then this being 3A. This, however, this would be 3B. So the transition metals are really in, in, um, you know, Group B, the main group elements are in group A. So then vice versa, you know, if we continue, this would be 4A, 5A, 6A, 7A, and 8A. So we are going to take that information as being the group number. So 13 would really turn into 3. 14 would really turn into 4 because it talks about the A group. So it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. And that's how many valence electrons are found in those groups. And remember, groups go up and down. Periods go across. So we're going down a group. So all of these Atoms, hydrogen, lithium, sodium, potassium, et cetera, et cetera, those would have only one valence electron. If I look at group 15 or 5A, nitrogen, phosphorus, arsenic, et cetera, et cetera, those would have five valence electrons. So remember that little trick. It just goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight total valence electrons. This one, they want to know how many has three valence electrons. So let's just circle the elements that they're looking for here. Lithium, boron, uh, let's see who else, nitrogen, fluorine, and neon. Which one do you think has the three valence electrons? If you said boron, you're absolutely right, because boron is in group 13, or it's in group 3A, and that has three valence electrons. So if I just gave you a little bit of context, if I said that this was boron, right? There's my boron atom. Boron would have three valence electrons in its outermost shell. Boron actually has two shells. But in the last one, it would have the three electrons. Just like that. And this would be N equals two. There would be two in the first shell, but three valence, one, two, three in the outer shell. And that's what valence electrons are. All right? 
So the answer here, which of the following has three valence electrons? Boron does, and that's the answer. Okay, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. If it did, click the like button. And if you want to help the channel out, click, click subscribe. It would really help us out tremendously. And I thank you for that. I'll see you guys all in the next question. Bye-bye.